back to the Summoner's Guide to Final Fantasy XIV. Back after a little bit of a break in recording, uh, Dragon Quest XI came out, and I was uh, heavily engrossed in playing that. And then right after that, Patch 4.4, ironically named Prelude in Violet, <laughs> came out. And I've been playing a lot of the new content, but now I'm back to doing some recording with Violet. In this uh, one, we're doing one of the uh, 3.1 dungeons, St. Mosian's Arboretum. And I'm going to give you a fair warning, it has been a very long time since I played this. Also, in the new content, the patch 4.4 content that I've been playing, we get the hard mode of this dungeon. Alright, starting to get back into the summoner groove here, learning, pre-learning where all my moves are. And how to unleash the AoE pain on everybody. Time to recharge some of my uh, cooldowns. I'm not even going to bother using either glow stacks on him. Uh, I think a bunch of corporate curves are going to jump out of the water here. Yes. There's actually an almost identical room in the hard mode, and I remembered that that was pretty much the same. But as you can see, they go down pretty quick. So I'm gonna not even use my uh, room trance yet. I think we're getting fairly close to the first boss chamber. Yes, now I gotta remember all of the mechanics for this boss. It's a Marlboro, so it's gonna be doing the normal Marlboro stuff, or more wool, I'm sorry. I'm used to calling them Marlboros. guys show up, stay out of their cone AoEs, and watch the direction that the Rose Garden rotates. You're going to want to dodge the AoEs of the small mortals while staying out of the cone of the large mortal. 
easy enough, so just, you know, get your, you know, follow where, where he's going, form a path in your mind, and just go from there. Uh, when the rose hips show up, kill him. Because they'll uh, do a nice big explosion if you know. All right. Now here, I'm gonna pray he doesn't start coming my way. Oh, my prayers have not been answered. He is not coming my way. All right, well, there we go. You do need to take out the rose hips. Alright, so that's really all you gotta worry about in that. So, yeah, when, he, when all those cone AoEs come out... Um... You know, when all the cone AoEs come out, just make yourself a path. Um, keep in mind that the um, the boss is going to rotate, and he could go either way. As you saw, he went clockwise one time and counterclockwise the other time. Or did he go clockwise both times? I don't remember. It doesn't matter. Just watch, because he could go either way. Um, And uh, the small morbles will stay. Uh, will be stationary. They are not going to rotate. So just watch. Watch for the path that you can uh, safely travel in, and try to get ahead of them best you can. And don't do what I just did there and miss out on your death flare. It has been a while. It's been, I think, about three weeks since I played anything with Violet. Um, I had a couple of videos that I had backlogged and just hadn't uh, posted, so I posted those. But this is the first time I've actually recorded, I think, in about three weeks. Uh, mainly in because of Dragon Quest XI, which I give my highest recommendation to. It's a really good game. If you're into the classic JRPG format, which I am, I cannot recommend it enough. Oh yeah, the bees! Okay, so... In this section here, what we're mainly going to be worried about is getting through the beehives. Specifically the honeycombs here. So I'm going to start... Getting that ready to go. And more enemies are going to come out that I completely forgot would come out. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have engaged the honeycomb. Again, I think it's been a long time since any of us have played this. It doesn't come up in roulette very often, um, and I, I have to say it's been well over a year since I played this dungeon. But I do remember that in this part, the honeycomb is what's blocking you from getting out. I also remember that in this section, we're going to see if this is what we actually do. In this next section, you can actually ignore all of the ads and um, just kill the honeycomb and head to the next boss section. Uh, and actually lock out all the enemies. So that's what we're gonna do. Or we're gonna try to do. I don't know if, if the, uh... Alright, 
looks like we're actually killing everybody, so I'll just make sure that everybody gets their uh, dots up here. But yeah, uh, early speedrunning attempts at this dungeon used to be um, kill the honeycomb as fast as you can, ignore the ads, and then as soon as the honeycomb goes down, you can actually run straight to the next boss chamber. Um, and actually lock out all the enemies. So... Any enemies that are left in here that the tank is just holding on to, you won't have to worry about once you get into this room. But again, it's been so long since all of us have played this that we just haven't been, we haven't been obeying that strategy. And if if you know the party isn't doing that, just kill the enemies like that. All right, so this boss. I'm gonna make sure my camera's out all the way. This boss has a lot of uh, AOEs to worry about. Obviously, get out of those and stay out of the puddles that arrive. Okay, so the bees that appear on the side of the room cannot be targeted. They're going to start doing random attacks on people, and more importantly, they're going to do line AoEs. So we'll start watching out for them when she casts this move, the same. The bees are going to line up. Oh no, right now the bees are, bees are just going to start attacking whoever gets that target mark. That would be me. So just keep moving. Alright. No, a veil. This is the one. Okay, they're going to... quickly as you can, because she's just going to keep doing that room-wide AoE, um, and just keep wrecking everybody until the Nighthawks are down. She'll let summon a bunch of new ones around the outside. Okay, here is the move I was thinking of earlier, Ally. She's going to cause all of the bees to line up, then they're going to do a big line AoE across the room. Oh, they're two rooms, Nate. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So don't do what I did. Keep in mind that there are two groups of bees which she uses ally, not one. Um, and you want to be out of the line of sight of both. Above all, don't be caught in the middle of the crossfire. You are going to die if that happens. Okay, a sail. Not going to worry about that. Um, that was where she targets one person and fires a bunch of AoEs at them. But we don't have to worry about that. Rolling on gear. And once you've rolled on your gear, uh, you jump down somewhere, don't you? Yeah, you come over here. And jump! Oh, I forgot how fun that was. Alright, don't be an idiot and refresh your uh, ether flow. I think that B boss is actually a pretty fun little boss. It, it's been, it had been a while since I played, so I didn't remember most of the mechanics on it, but it all kind of it all comes back to you. I actually think I remember most of the mechanics in the uh, last boss of this, so we should be good to go on that. The uh, ant pulls in here are pretty much just like any other. Nothing to really worry about too much, if you're, if you're a caster anyway. Another thing I keep forgetting to do in this, again, just being out of practice, uh, is my um, pet AoE attacks. And they 
they've moved. practice on this. We just, I mean, if you're, we're going to be completely honest with each other. One of the main reasons I'm playing this, this Violet Willow series is because of when Stormblood came out, I started playing Red Mage more heavily, and I love playing Red Mage, but Summoner is my first love. Uh, what I started playing in, during the beta, and I want to get back into it, but it's a very complicated job, and i just fallen out of practice. So I thought just by running through everything again, enjoying the story, and making it in a hopefully mildly entertaining series of videos, I could get back into the habit and maybe get some uh, good summoner play back in on my main. That, and I wanted to kind of experiment with different ways to play it, different button layouts and whatnot, to make my summoner play more efficient. And because I've been playing most of the high-level content with my Red Mage, I just haven't taken the time to really get back into the role. And uh, this is giving me an opportunity to do it, and I'm, I'm really glad I'm doing it. So, I mean, I know I've, I've had some people watching and, and commenting. I shout out to uh, Voodoo Child, who's been uh, apparently enjoying my videos very much, and uh, I am very pleased for that. I, one person gets something out of these videos. It's a bonus for me. But I'm just doing these to have fun and to re reacquaint myself with this job. And if other people are enjoying it too, bonus. All right. So, Belladonna. Part plant, part woman. Not much more to say than that. Alright, she's got a lot of attacks that are going to be working with positioning, like I was just about to say. That room wide is unavoidable. Alright, so these uh, little Wars, I believe if my uh, memory is correct, you want to stay away from. Yeah, because they do that little thing, and you don't want to be in them when they do that little thing. From the town, turn away. That eyeball thing tells you to turn away. If you get hit by that, you lose control of your character for a while and very often run right into those uh, fields from those bolts. Not a good thing to have happen to you. Ah, uh, I wanted to spend some more time in uh, trance. So yeah, a lot of nasty things happen here, but mainly as a caster, you can get your golden. Positioning is not a very big issue, big issue in this for you. You just watch where those little bulbs go and don't be there. In fact, let's get over here. And let's actually start using my attacks. Very small safe zone there. Oh, front call. As always, when the cast bar is done, you uh, you can feel free to turn around.
Alright, we should be done with this in a moment. So yeah, summary. Stay out of anything with a... And stay away from the bulbs, stay out of the circles. Turn away for, from Tron Vital. And that's really all you need to know for this boss. So there you have it, St. Ocean's Arboretum. Fairly easy dungeon, even for one who hasn't played it in over a year. And that's all. I may record one or two more tonight. It's The night is still young, and I've got all my weeklies done on my main. I'll be putting these out a little less frequently just because I am doing stuff on my main. Uh, but... I still intend to try to get at least one or two out a week, uh, depending on my schedule. So, until the next video, have a wonderful day.